Today's episode of the Riderflex podcast is sponsored by our friends at Rockies Venture Club, an angel investing group dedicated to accelerating economic development by educating and connecting investors and entrepreneurs. Their mission is to advance economic development in the Rocky Mountain region. And on today's episode of the Riderflex podcast, guess what? I have no clue what your company does. <laughs> At least most of the time I don't. I mean, if the resume says Walmart on it, that's pretty easy. IBM, Google, Amazon, those are easy. But seriously, all joking aside, don't assume that people looking at your resume know what your company does. I'm so blown away by resumes I look at where it'll say, uh, worked at company XYZ LLC. And then you'll go into your tasks and your accomplishments, but I still don't know what the company does. <laughs> I don't know what they make. I don't know. Is it a service? Is it a product? What industry is the company in? None of that's on there. Anytime I see a resume like that, chances of you getting through are slim because I don't want to have to dig for that information. And I got 150 other profiles in front of me that do have that information on there and I don't have to dig for it. So don't hurt your chances by not listing that. Be super clear on your resume right there underneath the title and the date after the company name, you should have a short description of what they do. What do they do? What's the industry? What's the product? What's the service? Okay. And if you can, the general size of the company helps. Now I know in some cases when it comes to number of employees and revenue, some of that stuff's private depending on the company, but when you can put that in there, if I can look at a resume and it quickly tells me what industry the company's in, what product they make, the size of the company with employees and revenue, boom. I have a lot of great information now that's gonna help me make a better decision about your profile. So ask yourself if your resume has, has that information. Now, LinkedIn profiles, a little different, right? If you have listed the company name properly on your LinkedIn profile and the company has a LinkedIn page, like the company has their own page on LinkedIn, it should pull up the little icon next to that job on your profile and I can click that icon. It'll take me to the company LinkedIn page where I can see what they do and there's a nice description. In some cases, some of you, now listen closely, this is a, this is a big tip here. Look at your LinkedIn profile. Next to the job, is it a little gray box instead of the company logo? No, <laughs> okay. Try to make sure it pulls up the company logo and that the company has a, a company LinkedIn page if you can. In some cases, the company's not on LinkedIn and it will only do the little generic gray box. If that's the case, you have got to put what the company does in the LinkedIn profile. You gotta have a description in there somewhere on your page right there where I can see it without having to dig for it. Nothing works than a LinkedIn profile that has three jobs on it all three are the little gray box because the companies don't have, you know, uh, pages on LinkedIn, so I can't click on it. And on your LinkedIn page, it tells me nowhere what the company does or makes or what industry it's in, etc. That is a killer. You don't want a LinkedIn profile like that. Please fix that, okay? Now, don't make yourself look silly by having, having the job listed on your LinkedIn profile, but it's, but it's a gray box, but you didn't, you didn't put it in there, right? So it didn't pull up the company logo, even though the company has a LinkedIn page, that's even worse. Makes it look like, looks like you don't know what you're doing. You don't know how to use LinkedIn. Okay. Don't do that either. Okay. Now, somewhat tech technical episode here, as I talk about LinkedIn, uh, and I don't want to go too deep there, but the point is this the point of the episode is this. When somebody's looking at your LinkedIn profile or your resume, they should easily and quickly be able to tell what the company does. What do they make? What industry are they in? Product, service, etc. If that's not clear, and by the way, don't assume that everybody knows. Some of you have been in the same in industry for so long that you just assume people know what that company does and we don't. <laughs> so don't assume, okay? And get that clear on your resume and LinkedIn profile and it'll help you It'll give you a much better chance of landing the job. And there is your RiderFlex tip of the day. The RiderFlex podcast features entrepreneurs, business executives, and the stories behind how they got there, 
as well as daily tips on career advice and job interviews. Our show can be heard just about anywhere these days, but you can visit riderflex.com and click on the podcast page to hear all the previous episodes and learn more about the recruiting and consulting services we provide. Contact us at the email address info at riderflex.com or 888-964-5876. Thanks so much for listening. And if you enjoy our show, please be sure to subscribe to our channel and like the episodes.